Hello, my name's James and welcome to another video on my channel. My dad said to me about a year ago he was throwing out his axe, as he has upgraded his one that he's had from the 60s and it's in need of a bit of TLC. So I said I would have it off him and see what I could do with it. As you can see it's been taped up with duct tape and cable tied together. So after removing everything that was holding it together, I could find out how the handle was secured in the axe head and find out whether the handle was broken. It turned out it had a huge split down one side. So then I could move on to removing the axe head which was harder than I thought it would be. Then I could place it in my draw horse and set about cleaning it up with this 60 grit flap disc fitted to my angle grinder. It was obvious this axe had been hit with a metal hammer over the years as there was various burrs of metal and dents all over it. There was also quite a bit of pitting on both faces of the axe head, so I had to concentrate in these areas to clean them up a bit more. After cleaning the head up, I found a maker's mark on it. It was made by Braids Co. It's a 301 and weighed three pound. I don't know if that's a well-known make of axe or not. Then I moved on to the next step, which was to go over the axe head with a 140 grit flap disc and clean up any marks or deep scratches left by the first step. When that was completed, I moved on to hand sanding the remainder of the scratches out with some fine emery cloth and some WD-40. I could probably make the head a lot more shinier by putting it on my polishing wheel, but I'm happy enough with the finish I have. I could then set about making a new handle out of this piece of ash I had left over from making my wooden mallet. I taped the broken handle back together and just simply drew around it to get the rough shape. As it was such a lovely sunny day, I took the bandsaw outside with me and then proceeded to cut the new axe handle out of this piece of ash. I set about getting the initial shape of the axe handle using my spoke shave. This is the first time I've got to use my spoke shave in any real anger and I was really impressed with how it performed. Once I achieved the basic shape I wanted, I then used my random orbital sander to finish it off so it had a nice smooth finish. Then I could try the axe head to see if it fitted. You can see here it doesn't quite fit on. So then I came back with my belt sander and removed some of the excess wood that was in the way. And then I tried hanging it for the first time. The head only went on about halfway. So again, it was back to the belt sander to reshape the head part of the handle. Then try rehanging it. 
then more belt sanding, and then a final rehang, and I got it there in the end. I then had to remove the head because I realized I hadn't cut a groove in the top of the handle for where I was going to place the wedge. So using my tenon saw, I just cut a groove in the top of the handle that was around 50 mil deep. Next I moved on to finishing the handle off with a bit of hand sanding. Oh dear. Then I refitted the head and using this bit of Zebrano wood that I cut from a scrap I had, I added a bit of glue into the groove on the top, smudged it in the best I could, and then fitted the wedge in place with a few good solid blows for my mallet. With a few squirts of WD-40, I could then set about refining the edge of the blade on this axe head. There are numerous different ways to sharpen an axe head. Perhaps that's a future video. Then finally, with some boiled linseed oil, it was time to give the handle a real good oiling. Trying to get in all the little nooks and crannies under the axe head. I also put a smear of this linseed oil on the axe head just to protect it from any moisture. And then not forgetting the Zebrano wedge in the top of it. So let's put this axe to the test. So here's a completed axe project. This is my first ever attempt at restoring an axe and making a handle, but I was really pleased with the outcome. And although I never usually have a great deal of need to use an axe, I am actually looking forward to using this for something. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, share the video about, and please subscribe to my channel for future videos. I'll see you all again next week.